Two healthcare workers in the UK who just received the COVID-19 um, vaccine made by Pfizer had severe allergic reactions following uh, the vaccination. I know you guys have seen this. It's been all over the headlines. And I know you might be asking the question, all right, well, so should I be worried about this now? Uh, should I even get the vaccine? Oh my gosh, Dr. Jen, what should I do? Many of you have asked, even my dad asked me that question today. So I know it's on all of your minds. A couple things that you should know is that probably the most important thing is that the two people who had these uh, severe allergic reactions after getting vaccinated, they are recovering, which is excellent news. That's exactly what we want to hear. I do also want to let you know that as a result, um, while this incident is being investigated, uh, Britain's uh, medicine regulator said it was changing its guidance to warn people with a history of significant allergies to medicines, uh, vaccines, and food to not get Pfizer BioNTech's COVID-19 vaccine. Okay, just a couple things to keep in mind. Now, so let's get down to the nuts and bolts. First thing you should understand is that the two staff members who received the vaccine and had the severe allergic reaction afterwards actually both had a history of severe allergic reactions in their medical history to the point where they both actually carried uh, adrenaline auto injectors. You may know those as like um, EpiPens and things of that nature. So they had a history of severe allergic reactions. I think this is a really, really important thing to note. Okay. Um, we should also note that, you know, it's not uncommon for people to have allergic reactions to vaccines, other vaccines, many vaccines. Actually, that happens a number of times a year um, where people have allergic reactions to vaccines. So you should know that. And also you should know that the CDC recommends that anyone um, who has a history of severe allergic reactions tell their doctor or their healthcare provider before getting any vaccine. So I, I want you to know that the concept of um, severe allergic reactions to vaccines is not an unknown one. It's not something that is brand new. It has happened. Doesn't make it right. Doesn't make it good. Doesn't mean we want it and we're okay with it. It just means that I want you to know that it does happen. A couple other things that you should know is that in the trials that, that have been done and are ongoing with Pfizer, or, uh, this Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine, it uh, has been shown to have a favorable safety profile, which is great. Um, mild to moderate side effects uh, have been mentioned, you know, local reaction to the arm, you know, some pain, um, maybe some fever, chills, things like that. Um, but it's important for us to remember that people with a history of uh, severe allergic reactions were excluded from this trial, from these studies. So that's something important that we really have to keep in mind as we go forward. Um, you're wondering probably what's the bottom line and what should you think? Well, first of all, remember, there's just a lot we don't know yet. Um, this, these incidences are being investigated, which is exactly what should happen. But what I am happy about is that we learned what the side effect was, that people had side effects, potentially, by the way, right? So we don't actually even know that the vaccine caused these allergic reactions. I need to, to drill that home and make that very, very clear. We don't actually know that the allergic reactions are due to the vaccine. That is what is actually in the process of being investigated. What we know is that two people had allergic uh, reactions after getting the vaccine. That's got to be evaluated, investigated, and um, the uh, uh, medical professionals in the UK are taking precautionary measures until we learn more, uh, at least, which is the right thing to do. So um, just want to keep that in mind. So how do I feel about this? Is Does it make me change my mind about the vaccine? No, I still plan to get the vaccine when it's available. I'm very hopeful about it. Um, I do think that that we need to learn more about this particular incidence and sort of see um, you know, what things come down the pike in terms of our investigation. Um, as the CDC says, if you have a history of any severe allergic reactions, your doctor or healthcare provider should always know that before getting any vaccine. Um, and again, guys, we need to wait and see. According to many health experts today, um, you know, should this be a cause for mass panic and anxiety? Uh, the answer is no, but as I always say, we are still learning more and more and more. So stay tuned. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. Please share this video if you have not already. I appreciate you watching it. Uh, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, click the little bell to get updates. I'm doing daily health videos to update us about the COVID vaccine and so much more. Uh, guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I will see you soon.